back to another video. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at a practical use for your vacuum engine. Now, if you quickly, before we start, if you are enjoying my content, don't hesitate to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel, as well as you can join our Discord, link in the description. Without any further ado, let's get into it. So what this concept is, is using a, this is a practical use for an engine, is using a power functions motor as a generator. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you turn a motor manually with your fingers, it'll actually generate electricity that goes out through these wires and can power something else of choice. Now, to demonstrate this, I'm going to have two motors, one of them with this, and I'm actually going to take the output cables. I'm going to put them together like this. And now, as you can see, the uh, I gotta get a good angle. Sorry for a bad angle, my tripod is broken, so I have no way to actually hold the camera up. But as you can see, when I turn this, it actually gives current to this motor and it produces electricity. Now the cool thing about my engine, and this is the black hole machine, it doesn't run as fast as it used to because I need to just put a little bit more lube on it. I haven't lubed it in a little while. But um, it can a it actually produces enough torque to spin this faster than an actual bat power functions battery box would, which actually makes this motor spin quite a bit faster. It does um, put resistance on the motor when I connect the output one, which is fine. It can still handle it. But anyway, so I'm going to put this motor on the stand here. As you can see, it's geared down three to one can't handle a direct input shaft so it has to be geared down but as i said it can spin the motor really fast so without any further ado i'm gonna run the engine with the actual motor applied and as you can see it's not too hard to spin it just like this and yeah let's do it So, as you can see, the motor is not connected to anything, it, and the engine still can handle the torque just fine. Now, as you can see, it does have to run at about 50% throttle in order to produce enough torque to spin the motor, which is fine, it can still handle it. But I'm going to apply a load to this in order to be using it as a generator. It can also go really fast too, so if I rev it up. Keep in mind that the motor is spinning three times slower than this. But it still produces plenty of torque. So now I'm going to apply the load, and you'll immediately notice that there will be a decrease in RPM. Okay, so here we go. Now hold this, so it doesn't come out. As you can see, the engine starts to struggle, but you just need to give it a little bit more water. But as you can see, it actually does produce enough power to spin this motor, which is actually really cool. So, as you can see, they're connected, and this is actually spinning really fast. actually spin faster. But you'll notice if I unplug it real quick, it'll actually will spin fast because this applies a resistance and makes it spin slow.
So it comes comes quickly to a stop, and that's just because, as I said, it applies a resistance, and yeah, it's called back EMF, I believe. So yeah, um, so guys, that's gonna do it for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned something. Like I said, I have a Discord in the description, and if you have any questions for me, feel free to comment down below. I always read the comments, and I always reply if there's a question that needs answering. But anyway, um, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. P.S. I have a bonus clip. It's a bonus clip. I hope you can hear me okay, because... I'm gonna be completely honest, when this M motor is spinning, it sounds like a tr a supercharger on camera. Which is pretty cool, so I'm going to run this with the mic under here and see how it runs.